When I was a boy, it never made sense to me why Jesus would leave the earth and ascend away from us. Wouldn't it be better to see Jesus still? And especially when other boys would say to me, Go on then, show us God. Well, it sounds crazy, but if Jesus had stayed, we would have idolised him. And you go, well, isn't it okay to idolise Jesus of all people? But all through the years of his ministry, Jesus resisted this. By hiding from the people, by escaping the crowds, by pointing to the Father and proclaiming the kingdom, the people wanted to put him on a pedestal and idolise him. Well, it is true that God was present in Jesus at one time and in one place. But it has always been true that God is present in all places at all times. The psalmist says, where can I go to get away from you? You seem to be everywhere. Well, Jesus was God filled, but the world and the cosmos and the universe has always been God filled and spirit filled too. What is crazy is that we constantly forget this or even deny it. So at the Wheat Harvest Festival, the one we now call Pentecost, the spirit comes as it were, to make a new start with humanity, a fresh douse of the Spirit of God. This universal presence we call spirit, life, love, or even reality itself. And each of us has to make a new start at some point, not just of believing, but of living in connection with God. In the life we are already immersed in, but we just don't realise it. The spirit is just a different life energy to the one that we normally operate in. And it doesn't require us to stand out among the crowds and be different or special. It doesn't require us to be pious or religious. It doesn't even require us to learn the Bible, a good idea though that is. It requires us to say yes to what and to who is already here and already within us. Well, if Jesus had stayed, we'd have missed all this. We'd be forever trying to catch up with him and no doubt get that selfie picture alongside him. Jesus has gone, but Jesus is also everywhere. <laughs>